Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to start with our topic number four, that is types of tissue. And in this topic, we are going to discuss regarding overall different types of tissues in plant body, in which we are going to discuss in detail regarding meristematic tissue, permanent tissue, complex tissue, or uh, we call it as a vascular tissue, and lastly, epidermal tissue. Now. see every organism or every living organism is cellular it composed of cells in case of multicellular plants plant body is composed of various types of cells grouped in a tissue so a group of cells of same type or mixed type having common origin and performing an identical function is known as tissue or we can say a group of closely associated cells that perf perform related functions and are similar in their structure are called as tissues groups of tissues are also associated together to form an organ while different organ associated to form the plant body in higher plants the body is somewhat complex in its organization a vascular plants develop a single unicellular zygote by further development the zygote develops into an axis having root at one end and stem at other end the stem bears lateral appendages like leaves these first form parts of plant body constitute the primary plant body and they grow rapidly and soon become mature and the plant body consists of two kinds of tissues first one that is vegetative tissue and secondly reproductive tissue but all the tissue plant tissue can be categorized into two main types that is meristematic tissue and permanent tissue look at here here is the classification of plant tissue in detail mainly the tissues are differentiated or categorized into two types meristematic tissue first and secondly permanent tissue here the meristematic tissue have the property of division and they are constantly dividing and adding new cells and therefore they are known as growth tissues permanent tissue have lost power of cell division have de and have developed a particular structure permanently and for performing specific function hence they are known as permanent tissue the cells of permanent tissue may be living or dead and thin walled or thick walled the permanent tissue may be simple or complex in simple tissue this tissue is made up of one type of cells forming a homogeneous system of cells simple tissue are known as ground tissue the common ground tissue or simple tissues are parenchyma collenchyma sclerenchyma and chlorenchyma a complex tissue is made up of more than one type of cells forming complex unit these tissue are also known as vascular tissue the common examples are xylem and phloem so this is the classification of plant tissue in detail where the uh, different two different uh, categories are found that is meristematic permanent Perma meristematic tissue is again divided into three types based on their origin position and cell, plane of cell division while permanent tissue is divided into two kinds that is simple tissue and secondly complex tissue simple tissue forms the ground tissue common ground tissue of the plant body which is of parenchyma collenchyma sclerenchyma and chlorenchyma while the complex tissue which is known as a vascular tissue this uh, vascular tissue constitute of two kinds of tissues first xylem tissue secondly phloem tissue now xylem again constitute a different kinds of element that is tracheary uh, tracheal elements that is tracheids uh, xylem parenchyma xylem fibers as well as xylem vessels while phloem constitute sieve elements companion cells phloem parenchyma and 
phloem fibers now according to the function of tissues there are five main types of tissue for example meristematic tissue uh, epidermal tissue ground tissue mechanical tissue vascular tissue as well as secretory tissue now see we are going to discuss in detail regarding each kind of these tissues starting with the meristematic tissue so let's start with the meristematic tissue first type of tissue in primary plant body see meristem meristem or meristematic tissue is dividing tissue localized at certain region of plant body and is responsible for new for cell formation and due to which growth is possible throughout the life of the plant and in general meristem is considered as juvenile or secondary dividing tissue which persists in developing or mature plant body so the word meristem is derived from a greek word meristos meaning divisible so this meristematic tissue has some particular characteristics first one that is it composed of immature cells which are in state of cell division so meristematic tissue is always in a uh, in division or growth stage secondly the cell wall of meristematic cell is thin and the cells are isodiametric thirdly intercellular spaces between meristematic cells in this tissue are absent meristematic cells are generally with prominent nucleus and possesses dense cytoplasm without ergastic substances vacuoles are generally absent and if present they are very very small now let's discuss regarding different types of meristem so meristem is classified into three types based on origin based on their position and based on plane of cell division they are of different kind based on origin they are divided into prime promeristem primary meristem and secondary meristem based on position they are divided into apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem while on the basis of plane of division mass meristem plate meristem and rib meristem so let's discuss regarding uh, classification based on position of meristem it has three types apical meristem lateral meristem and intercalary meristem here the apical meristem is present at the apex of the stem root and the appendages they are known as growing points growing points form of single dividing cell is called as a apical cell for example uh, in uh, pteridophytes in higher plants a number of dividing cells are initials initials are present it increases the height and length of the organ and primary body on the whole so look at the diagrammatic representation here uh, at the apex of the shoot or at the apical region of the root there is a presence of apical meristem second type that is intercalary meristem it is portion of apical meristem located between the permanent tissue this intercalary meristem is located between the permanent tissue and intercalary meristem get separated from apical meristem during development they occur at the base of internode and leaves they possess a very limited ability to divide they also constitute to development of primary body and they are short living and ultimately become permanent tissue so intercalary meristem produce lateral appendages like uh, axillary buds and adventitious adventitious buds it increases length of internode and the leaves so look at the diagram here the nodal regions shows presence of intercalary meristem which is responsible for formation of new branches or new axillary buds now third type of tissue is a lateral meristem here the lateral meristem 
are present parallel to the side of organ in which they are present their cells are rectangular with small vacuoles and ergastic substances and they divide only in tangential plane or periclinally and are responsible for in thickness or girth of increasing thickness or girth of organs which are in which they are present look at here he, here the lateral meristem is uh, represented with the red line here is the lateral meristem uh, this present at the uh, in the form of cambium in vascular bundles and this is uh, responsible for addition of secondary uh, xylem and phloem which is responsible ultimately responsible for the increase in girth of uh, uh, plant body uh, for example initially a uh, bunion tree uh, stem is very small but later on as time goes this in uh, lateral meristem becomes active and add new cells so that the girth of plant of bunion tree increases day by day so this is the example of lateral meristem and the example of lateral meristem are vascular cambium or we can say a cork cambium also so this is the classification of meristematic tissue based on position that is where the meristematic tissue is present in the plant and three types that is apical meristem intercalary meristem and lateral meristem here we can see the apical meristem here at the apices of root and shoot here is the intercalary meristem from where the new branch is arises and thirdly lateral meristem which is present here in uh, in the vascular bundle open type of vascular bundles or uh, the cambium or cork cambium are the example of lateral meristem now the next or uh, type of meristem which is based on origin is classification of meristem on based on origin that is primary and secondary type of meristem look at the diagram so according to stage of appearance of meristematic tissue in plant body they are classified into two types primary meristem and secondary meristem primary meristem it is a meristem of original plant body or organ that developed directly from the cells of embryonic stage and remains meristematic throughout their life we can call them as a promeristem also the meristem present at apices of root stem and in birds are example of primary meristem they are responsible for development of primary plant body now secondary meristem it arises from permanent tissue or primary meristem and in due course of time it develops into a mature plant body some cells produce from primary meristem as permanent tissue regain power of cell division and become meristematic and thus they arise from tissue which is not meristematic originally for example cork cambium or interfascicular cambium in medullary rays tissue medullary ray tissue or intrafascicular cambium in vascular bundles so this is uh, regarding primary and secondary meristem which is based on origin and third type of meristematic tissue that is uh, on based on plane of cell division on the basis of uh, plane of cell division the meristem is classified into three categories mass meristem rib meristem and plate meristem here mass meristem in in this case cell divide in three planes at three sides that is anticlinally periclinally and diagonally or by all the sides and thus produce a mass of cell for example embryonic meristem at early stage meristem in uh, sporangia pith or endosperm and cortex tissue or we can say endosperm young embryo these are the examples of mass meristem which is uh, which uh, uh, tissue of uh, meristem divides re divides in all planes or all sides 
secondly rib meristem which is also called as a file meristem in this case the meristem cells divide anticlinally or in one plane and thus produce a rows of cells in a column and it is also termed as file meristem and the length of the organ increases due to such meristem so rib meristem is responsible for increasing length of an organ of plant and it is play very important role in pith formation last one that is plate meristem in this case meristem cells divide by anticlinally and periclinally divisions on two sides and thus plate cells are formed the cells are in single layer or a plate of one layer of cells for example single layered epidermis or meristem forming leaf blade this is the example of plate meristem so this is all about uh, classification of meristem based on origin plane of division and on position let's see what is the function of meristem so meristem play uh, different kinds of functions first of all the primary growth of plant body occurs due to activity of primary meristem the secondary meristem produce secondary conducting tissue to fulfill the requirement of additional conduction of water and food thirdly an embryonic meristem is responsible for formation and differentiation of different parts of plant body overall primary and secondary growth of plant body or organ is possible due to activities of meristem healing of wounds in case of plant is possible due to formation of cork cambium or callus in the vicinity of wound by the meristem lateral organs such as leaves flower buds branches fruits etc develop from a specific meristem for example intercalary meristem adventitious buds develop from meristem and help in the regeneration of organs or plants body development of seasonal cambia as meristematic tissue is responsible for seasonal growth in organs like root and stems anomalous secondary growth is possible due to adventitious meristem and lastly in different plants as per the ecological conditions specific tissue are produced due to activities of the secondary meristem so this is all about first kind of tissue that is meristematic tissue